I was very drawn to the script when it found its way to me. Um, I'm, a, I'm a fan of anything that, that catches me off guard and things where I don't know what's going to happen next. Um, and you get the sense pretty quickly uh, when you read a lot of scripts if there are surprises around certain corners or things start to kind of feel a little predictable to you. And, and uh, this script totally caught me off guard and I did not know what was coming next and I didn't really... The, the way that the story is kind of constantly being uh, turned on its head was super thrilling and exciting as a reader. Mm -hmm. And so I thought that would be a really interesting thing um, to be a part of, to play with. And then, of course, um, when I met Dan Trachtenberg, the director, I, it just seemed like he, he has so much enthusiasm and, and he's, he's so energetic and excited and, and such a, f a fan and lover of film, just like I am. And so we bonded over that. Um, and then when you're working with people like Mary Elizabeth Winstead and, and John Goodman, it's kind of a no-brainer. It's like, oh, I, I want in. I want to, you know, I want to be part of that too. There was a lot to play with. Um, there was so much on the page, uh, just naturally the way it was written. It was a really well-written character, but at the same time, there was lots of room for little details to be kind of flushed out, and you know, a little bit of improvisation where we we found some things throughout the process. Um, but I really just related to the idea of somebody trying their darndest to keep up appearances and, and kind of keep a little bit of brightness and happiness uh, in the face of kind of uncertainty and, and tragedy and the unknown of what really is going on um, above ground. In the beginning of the story, a young woman crashes her car. It's played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead, the character of Michelle, and she awakes um, in this fallout shelter, um, and she's been brought there by John Goodman's character who finds her on the side of the road. The film is really a story of of these three people trying to not only survive, but also to kind of understand and live harmoniously <laughs> amongst each other. Working with with Mary Elizabeth Winstead has been such a treat. Um, I, I have a bunch of mutual friends with her and people that know her and they and have heard the best things for the last couple of years about her and obviously been such a fan of her work over the years. She's a tremendous actress. And um, if there you know, if you're gonna get stuck in a bunker with a couple people, then 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 Mary Elizabeth Winstead and John Goodman, Dan Schachtenberg, our director, it's it's not a bad group really. Um, Mary's fantastic. It's been a real pleasure meeting her and getting to work with her. Um, on a, on such a personal kind of movie, really, it's it's rare that you get to do a project like this where it's really just three actors the whole time. Well, I love John Goodman. I've, I've been a fan of just about every darn thing that he's done that I've ever seen. And uh, I think people are going to be really surprised. It's a bit of a departure for him. You know, he, the character is, is, is rather intense um, and has a very, very intense con conviction. Um, seeing him play kind of a, 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 a slightly um, crazed doomsday prepper is a really interesting color that I've never really seen him touch on in, in some of his previous roles. Uh, so it's really fun to come to set every day and watch him really sink his teeth into it. It's been really fun. It's really great to, to shoot um, in, in one place. You know, you spend a lot of times when you're doing films kind of rushing to and from different sets and different locations and having one place where we can all kind of settle into is really great because you get to kind of take over that space and really feel like you're making, making it your own and you get used to it and you get comfortable. Um, almost like doing a play, you know, you spend a lot of time on the set, you know, you find yourself getting really used to it. And uh, it's been really cool. I um, mean, they've done a tremendous job with it. Working with someone like Dan Trachtenberg is it really is is one of the qualities that I look re really look for in a director is enthusiasm, is the feeling of like really wanting to get it done, and uh, and Dan has that you know he is optimistic, tons of energy, really positive, really really good at what he does. Um, and it's always really thrilling to be working with people that are just kind of starting out in a sense. Not that Dan's starting out, he has a, a lot of great stuff under his belt, but this is you know, his f feature film uh, directorial debut. And it's been a, a, a joy kind of working with him. We're on, it, when, you get, when you really feel like everybody's on the same page, that usually has to start somewhere. And it really feels like it started with Dan and then it trickles down and it kind of catches you know, like a wildfire with everyone. And he definitely instills that sense of positivity and enthusiasm. And he's a huge... Um, um, you know, he's a huge fan of movies, and he has kind of a, an encyclopedic kind of knowledge of of different genres and different movies, and is obviously grew up with a love of movies, and that's what brought him to directing, and that's really how it started with me too, wanting to become an actor. So we we kind of see eye to eye in that sense. 
shooting in New Orleans is such a gift. Uh, it's obviously such an incredible city. It's one of my favorite cities. Um, I shot a movie here about five years ago and have been longing to come back for work ever since because um, to, to be part of uh, something, a city that's known for so much fun that when you get there and you can actually be part of the culture and, and, and make something, um, it's kind of the best of both worlds because the food's amazing and um, the culture's amazing and nightlife's amazing and the music is amazing. It has It's kind of a, a melting pot of some of my favorite things in the world, so it's great. I'll shoot in New Orleans anytime. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a cliche to, thing to kind of say, but I really do believe it. It really is a ride. It really is like taking such a great ride, and that was the way that I felt reading it. And when you get that kind of adrenaline burst and when you get that feeling like your heart's racing just from reading a script, you know that once you get it off the page, it's going to be even more exciting.